we start with we want our chart just want to give a quick update and if we refer to our analysis we mentioned we're looking for the reversal anyway this is what we get now once what's the next because we mentioned whenever we have this kind of the drop if the price reverses as a corrective mostly at we can to, we can expect to see at least one more drop before we see the reversal now we want to see how we can look for trade even if we want to look for this one as a correction relative to this for one more warp, the best thing is if this one give me one more drop, if this one tend to flat, then we put our entry above here. Any reversal as a sharp move, we will take it. And we need to see the breakout of the 36 following by 39. We need to see the breakout of this zone. But we're looking for the reversal as a sharp. If it turns to a corrective move, we should know how to manage it. We shouldn't keep the, the trade more than two hours if it doesn't move in our direction. If it turns to a corrective move, we move our sub loss to break even, we just let it go, all right? And from what I can see here, having a trade above this is not a really good idea because simply the price can tag and drop. That's why we prefer to see one more drop. Then from there, if this is the one is going to drop, at least we are not in the trade and we just let it go. But if we get one more drop, turn to a correction, this one turn to a correction, then any reversal will take the trade because having a trade from here, we can expect the price tag or entry then drop because we should know about the one more drop similar in relative to this corrective move. Anyway, we don't see a really good trade setup for buy. And unless we see the sharp move line by flag, all right. And if I move to daily chart, and based on daily, we, even we mentioned we're looking for the reversal, but we have to wait. At this point, we don't see any trade setup for buy. And even if we move to forward chart, similar to what we explained based on one hour chart. If this one turned to a deeper correction, then we will end trade for buy, we'll take it, and we have to see the breakout of this zone to confirm we are within an uptrend. All right. Anyway, if we move to one hour chart, as I mentioned, if we want to look for buy, we prefer this one turn to a deeper correction before we take the next trade. And at this point, we are, I don't suggest to look for buy, it depends on the traders, because buying without the trade setup and confirmation is not a really good idea in, because we, we can expect to see at least one more drop in relative to this anyway we just follow the chart if i see any update or trade setup i will share thanks